All we need is one. Only one. Just one man. Bring the light of God into our generation. Log on to www.championsrailassembly.com. Click prophecy and watch God's servant, Brother Joshua Iginla's prophecies concerning nation, world leaders, world event, natural disaster, and many more. And it came to pass. On the 15th of June 2014, in a live service here in the International Headquarters CRA, God's servant, Brother Joshua Iginla, during a prophetic session, prophesied concerning the governor of Adamawa state of Nigeria. He said, the governor needs to pray very, very hard if he wants to finish his tenure. These were his exact words. In my vision, we need to pray from Adamawa state. And we need to pray for the governor. Hard times are ahead of him. Serious hard time are ahead. Hard time. He needs to pray to finish his tenure. That's all. The governor of Adamawa needs to pray to finish his tenure. Mm. He needs to pray to finish his tenure. And this is not issue that has to do with political thing alone. He needs to pray to finish his tenure. Brother Joshua Iginla's prediction was confirmed on the 15th of July 2014 as this was the major headlines on national dailies. How brother Joshua Igila explains the manner in which the Adamawa governor will be removed. He used the word, hard times await him. We need to pray for Adamawa state and we need to pray for the governor. Hard times are ahead of him, serious hard time ahead. Hard time. Serious hard time ahead. Hard time. He needs to pray to finish his tenure. He needs to pray to finish his tenure. Adama State Governor Murtala Nyako has been impeached by the State House of Assembly. 18 of the 25-member House of Assembly endorsed the report, a panel of investigation, which indicted the governor on 15 out of 20 counts of gross misconduct. Declaring the verdict of the House, the Speaker declared Governor Murtala Nyako removed from office. The acting chief judge or the president customary court of appeal has been directed to swear in the speaker pending the conduct of elections in the office of the governor. A few hours ago, the deputy governor, James Inglari, resigned from office on personal grounds. Even though it is signed, we have the signed the verdict of the House and the Constitution of Nigeria, particularly section 188 subsection 9 with this two fair majority of the house adopting the resolution of the settlement panel i hereby declare the government of adama state rare and